Yo, 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 it's the Viz, Triple Flicks Mafia, here to do my top five countdown of four movies I did not enjoy. Um, you've already gotten Chad's video and Tony's video the past couple weeks. Uh, almost every single movie that they talked about, I'm pretty much on board with. Uh, I disagree with a, a few picks of theirs, but it's no big deal. You know, it's the thing about movies, everybody tends to think a little bit differently about them but the hard thing for me and I don't know if this is the case for other people I watch so many horror movies now uh, they all just kind of blend together uh, I can watch something really enjoy it and you know after I watch four or five more movies after that a lot of them just kind of run together and I really have trouble just kind of keeping up with them so when it comes to movies that I did not enjoy, movies that I hated, uh, I really like can't speak about details of them um, because I mean they really just leave my brain, and I I can't really get too detailed when I talk about the description of them outside of just saying how much I didn't like it. But anyways, I'm gonna give you my five. I don't have a whole lot to say about them outside of just really not having fun with them. But uh, let's, let's just get to it. Number five. So this is actually, Hills Have Eyes, this is actually a movie I think is really good. It, I think it's a really, um, really well done remake. Uh, I think beginning to end, I think it's just a really good movie. But when I walked out of this movie, I went and saw it in the theaters. I forgot what year that movie came out. Like. 2005 or 2006 I could, I could be way off but um, went and saw it in the theater and that was the first time I walked out of a horror movie you know in the theater with just a nauseous feeling in my stomach uh, it just made me really uncomfortable that whole um, attack scene on the family uh, I assume most everybody's seen it but obviously the daughter getting raped the um, the mom, you know, the mom gets killed, they take the baby, uh, the dad gets killed, you know, thrown up on that, that, that fire stick thing, like he's being crucified. Uh, it, it was just really hard to watch. It was just, it made me feel really just awful when I walked out of that movie. I, I actually, I give the movie props for um, doing that because you know, obviously it's well done if it really leaves that type of type of like mark on you, you know, when you're done. So, you know, I know people are probably thrown off right off the bat, like, here we go, The Viz, Jordan, talking about good movies and not liking them. And I seem to always let people down on these, on these countdown videos, but it's just one I didn't really enjoy. I've watched it since then a few times. Um, little bit easier to stomach you know now that you know after you've seen it and you kind of know what to expect but did not enjoy it the first time um, I do have it in the collection but uh, not one of my favorites number four now this is one I'm big on Christmas horror uh, red Christmas this is one I always heard good things about uh, I think Tony and Chad had both seen it before I watched it and then we all watched it one night and I mean I just despised it I thought it was just very hateful um, every character was unlikable there's one character with like down syndrome in it and he is the most redeeming part of that movie um, he you know he was just kind of that that character that um, you know you you pulled for in the movie and he had a good a couple really good scenes in it but uh, the monster creature thing in it the deformed I, I don't even really remember what he was um, but this you know this family has invite invites this person in on Christmas Eve or something he ends up killing everybody and they're just running around the whole time making awful decisions everybody is just so unlikable and I just despised it I, I just 
I hated it. Um, if I wasn't watching it with the guys, I probably would have turned it off. But, uh, you know, kind of a random pick, but it's just one that's always kind of stuck out to me uh, that I did not like. So Red Christmas, stay away from. It does have some okay kills. But outside of that, it, it was just, ugh, awful. Number three. Now, each year, we always try to, you know, we find movies here and there, blind buys, hoping that it's going to be, like, so bad it's good. And uh, Microwave Massacre, a few years back, that was the pick. Um, I think it was Arrow video. Pretty sure it's Arrow. Um, that was one of those movies that we had high hopes for, just based off the cover art and the description um, and the title. And it was terrible. It was just awful. There was nothing fun about it just really dry and just you know obviously microwave massacre it's it's gonna be um just a you know out there but you know you, you at least hope that it, it's gonna be so bad it's good and it, it just wasn't it was terrible it was awful didn't like it Wanted nothing to do with it sold it and uh it's just kind of like a joke now with the rest you know me and the guys that's just one of those kind of butts of the joke that um, we always say, well, at least it's not Microwave Massacre, or it's better than Microwave Massacre. That's always kind of the go-to thing. So, number three, micro Microwave Massacre. Number two. Now, Session 9, man, heard so many good things. It's Screen Factory release, just one of those kind of individual Screen Factory releases. I see it on everybody's shelf. It seems like the majority of people are fans of this movie. It was awful. It was just talking the whole time. The characters were just, once again, just super unlikable. Hardly nothing happened. I mean, it does kind of pick up like in the last 10 minutes of the movie. And I mean, I can't really remember. I think like this, this company, this group of guys have to clean up. It's like a, a insane asylum or a hospital, maybe a jail, I can't remember. And you know, as they're, they have like a, a, a date that they have to get it done by and uh, it's just them working and talking and just a whole lot of nothing. Um, I mean, it's not one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It wasn't unwatchable, but it was just, not good. I guess I just had too high of hopes for it. Let me know what y'all think down below about Session 9 and why you like it. Um, it you know, it wasn't a, a bad movie. It was just, there was just nothing there to care about. Uh, I don't see why anybody would watch that and be like, man, that was really good. Like, can't process it. Um, once again, though, to each their own, I guess, you know, some people, everybody thinks different about them, but Session nine, shoo, shoo. Number one, The Babysitter. What was it, last year, 2017, 2018, somewhere in there, this was like a big Netflix hit, you know, in the horror community. It seemed like uh, everybody was kind of making videos about it and were doing reviews and talking about it. it. Seemed like everybody was on board. Everybody loved it. And we watched it one night trash I mean it's just so terrible and the thing that I didn't you know it, it had some fun kills it was very uh, modernized and kind of stylistic but that was my problem with it like there's these movies that are made now strictly for teenagers that, that's you know it had like YouTube you know people in it people that make YouTube videos so I don't know if that's like a cool thing, like with the younger generation. Um, it was awful though, like not a good movie. Um, not fun, really stupid, really awful script, cheesy actors, just cheesy, you know, just cheesy everything. Um, you know, it, it was bloody, but it was like stupid bloody, just stupid stuff. It wasn't like scary or interesting. It wasn't even funny. Like, if it was funny, it would be funny to, like, a younger generation. So it really surprised me. It's, you know, there's some people, especially on YouTube, that I'm fans of, I usually agree with when it comes to their reviews. And they were all praising it. And uh, I just thought it was awful. 
and you can kind of see these movies, you know, they always come, like Escape Room, um, what's the other ones, like Happy De Death Day to You, uh, there's one that just came out recent, Re Ready or Not, I think that's the name of it, you can just tell it's those types of movies, they just want to be violent, just, but with no, like, backbone to them, it's just like, let's be violent, and just, let's throw some comedy into it. And it's just not my thing. I'm, I'm not huge into horror comedies to begin with, so maybe that's the problem. It might just be a me thing. But um, did not enjoy it. I mean, absolutely despised it. And it just, as I saw more and more people praising it, it made me hate it even more. So the babysitter, no thanks. So that's it. That's my top five. You know, some of the other movies that the guys mentioned, um, I can't remember what all they said. It Comes at Night, terrible. Uh, Descent 2, I remember Tony talked about that. Uh, there were, you know, a few others, but yeah, just some shoo shoo movies, which happens. You know, it's normal. You know, especially, you know, the three of us, we like to blind buy movies a lot. I think it's a whole lot more fun to do that with horror movies. And uh, you're just going to run across those stinkers every now and then. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this. Comment down below. Agree with me. Disagree with me. Let me know your thoughts. Also, put, your, um, put some movies that you really dislike or make a video. If you, you want to join in on this, make a video. Let us know that you made one. And, uh, you know, we'll go check it out and try to share the love a little bit. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this. The Viz, Triple Flicks Mafia, hit that thumbs up.